So over the last 20 years, the amount of people in the workforce age 55 or older has almost doubled. According to a new report from the Senate Special Committee on Aging, 43 percent of older Americans considering returning to work are doing so because of inflation. Joining us now for an exclusive interview is the ranking member on the Senate Committee on Aging and who introduced the What's Working for Older Americans report. Senator Mike Braun uh, joins us now. Senator, good to see you. Well, before we get into what's good working, let's talk about what's not working for them, and that's retirement. Uh, I guess Social Security and pensions just aren't doing it, right? No, let's just go back uh, pre-COVID, zero inflation. The markets were doing well. That's what they depend on for their retirement income. How could you have created a worse scene than what we've got for either early retirees or ones that uh, thought everything was good? Here, we've got record inflation. Last time this occurred was many years ago. It took five, six years to tamp down. But then, when they want to get back into the workforce, they're running into one of the most aggressive federal governments they could ever imagine. Uh, the Labor Department, if they can't get it done through legislation, they do it through rules or executive orders. And they've run into this issue through a current rule that's threatening to take down the gig economy, yeah. the independent contractors. And one third of all of those employees are individuals over 55 years old. You know, that's the, th the funny thing. It's the older people that are taking advantage of working in the gig economy. Maybe it's in, in the, the headquarters, they have all these, these young kids working, but, but it's the older people that are actually out doing it. And ironically, it is the Labor Department, which is supposed to stand up for labor, that's killing a lot of those jobs. We'll get into that in a second, but the, the real factor occurring now that's affecting people's lives, forcing them to go back to work if they don't want to go back to work, is inflation. Uh, Robert Kennedy, who's, who's vying for the position that Joe Biden has from the Democratic side, saying th uh, things that are a lot similar to what Republicans are saying about inflation in the state of the economy right now. Roll tape. The middle class in this country is um, is collapsing. Fifty seven percent of Americans could not put their hands on a thousand dollars if they have an emergency. Twenty five percent of Americans are hungry. We have a crisis right here in this country. You know, I see people really living in a state of desperation that I never thought I would see in the United States of America. Now, how does President Biden back out of that charge from a fellow Democrat? I mean, he's got so many things to explain. And again, once he took over, we had wages going up in those toughest places, even for seniors, older Americans that wanted to come back into the workforce with no inflation. And then just recently, I had to lead the effort when they want to make yeah, on your investment uh, accounts to where now you can take as a fiduciary responsibility invest in woke agenda items. So they're not only getting it through inflation, they're getting poorer returns because now that can occur. We led, and it was bipartisan, that that is crazy, that there should be any criterion other than the best return that's never been that way under any administration. It is under this one. Yeah. Now, Senator, of course, while a lot of older Americans are, are going back to work, they're being forced to, uh, we're in an ironic situation where a lot of younger Americans are, are looking for a free ride. And in fact, uh, the, the, the number of people participating in the workforce has been going down for a while now in America. And we have this surplus of jobs as opposed to labor. So it's actually a good time to find a job, but for the wrong reasons. Well, and here again, uh, never let a crisis go to waste. During COVID, if you recall, there were extended unemployment benefits that everyone agreed to for a while. Then they extended it way beyond that. And you were incentivizing people to stay at home and watch Netflix. That's the new work ethic out there that we're having to grapple with for any business that's trying to grow their business with individuals that'll put that work ethic and effort into it, and the federal government says, hey, there might be a program out there that you don't need to. Well, you may end up working with a President Kennedy, who knows, on, on something that could be. could be bipartisan. Senator Braun, thank you very much. Appreciate you being here.